has a new police commissioner. Lieutenant General Elias Mawela has been appointed to lead the men and women in blue in the province. Police Commissioner Peggy Kale made the announcement this morning. Our reporter Michael Apple is tracking this story for us and he joins us live. Mike, good morning to you. So that announcement about Gauteng's new police commissioner being made in the last few minutes there. Talk to us about some of the key priorities as the police leadership talks about reorganizing policing in Gauteng? Well, there's a definite acknowledgement that Gauteng is the economic hub of the country, uh, is also in the headlines very often, and the crime statistics show this, that some of the most serious and violent crimes uh, take place in Gauteng. Therefore, it called for a reorganization of policy and a strategic a change in the strategic direction of how the police do their work. So with this appointment, it was starting at the, the top. It was the police minister, Becky Taylor, who said that after Deliwe de Lange, the former commissioner vacated and resigned from this office in October. We know that she was granted 20,000 rand bail. She faces a whole host of graft allegations, uh, that case ongoing in the courts at the moment. But that Gauteng is such a strategic center for the country, could not go without a permanent uh, police commissioner for a, an extended period of time, making this such a vital appointment. There were also the appointments of deputy commissioners of policing as well as detective services. And then uh, there was an announcement of a whole host of major generals which are going to be deployed to key police stations identified in the fight against crime. These include Pretoria Central, Johannesburg Central, Dobsonville, uh, Morocco, uh, Sunnyside. These are all trouble areas where perhaps not only the crime statistics are very bad, but there's been complaints about a lack of um, a lack of policing that the CPFs are ignored or where police officers may be working hand in glove with criminals. Uh, and that was the plea made in Mamelodi East today to say. We know who these criminals are, especially uh, the issue of drugs in our communities. And uh, he appealed to the police and, and to community members, CPFs, don't just go after those that are distributing and selling the drugs. Go after the manufacturers. And he wants what he calls the big guns arrested. Uh, Gauteng Premier David Mokura stating publicly that he's calling on the police to arrest the top 20 most wanted criminals in Gauteng as a matter of urgency. And another issue which cropped up, which surprised me a little bit, was, and it perhaps uh, denotes a shift in the way in which they're encouraging the community to relate to their police. He made every single major general uh, read out their cell phone numbers. Uh, Becky Kneller said that those cell phone numbers which you hold are paid for by the state. Um, therefore, it's the property of the public, basically. Read those numbers out to everybody. And Elias Mawela, the new, newly appointed Gauteng Police Commissioner, was not excluded from this. Becky Kneller even reading his own cell phone number out, joking, please don't call me at 2 a.m. to ask if I'm fine. Uh, he says, I am fine, I guarantee you. But a definite shift in the way in which they're relating to communities, and perhaps where there was a gap in communication between the community and those senior SAPS officers by handing out something simple, like handing out a cell phone number, potentially that may bridge that gap. All right, uh, Mike, a very, very important development uh, coming out of that announcement. We'll leave it there for the moment, uh, Michael Apple, at uh, the announcement of uh, Gauteng's new police commissioner.